then we are going to be looking at these two ideas together uh, first how do we theorize and then how do we capture we can't measure i have talked about in last 10 minutes many times and i would really want you if you are interested in skill development then remember this and think about it tonight today evening that what we are trying to measure right they don't really exist okay i have we as i mentioned we have uh, our children grow up with this idea of intelligence but really nobody has seen intelligence uh, nobody knows what is what it is we know the exhibit the outcome of intelligence but actually whether it is actually there it is just our own theorization it is our own concept prejudice self esteem introversion forgiveness right they remember these constructs don't actually exist they are all theorizations and we are trying to capture them through the exhibited uh, outcomes right and therefore if you are going to do any study so uh, as i mentioned there are some people uh, who take up skill development in their research projects in their thesis or uh, whatever kind of projects that they are doing but even if you are not doing skill development you should remember and you should understand that the goodness of your research the robustness of your research would actually depend upon how well you are measuring constructs of your interest that means even if you are not developing your own skill but you may be using measures for some constructs right or that you are going to work on in your in your thesis whether your papers would be accepted whether your papers would be looked at properly would depend upon whether you understand importance of using right measures and you have made efforts to find out what are the valid measures and then using them in the kind of research projects that you are doing right so remember this everything that exists exists in some quantity and therefore be measured and this is to this is thorndike who was one of the leading psychologist and uh, did a lot of work in psychometrics and therefore this whole stream of psychometrics is essentially looking at how do we measure constructs what is measurement what is measure, measures Me through measurement through developing these skills through developing these instruments so i am going to use these two words okay uh, let me put put up some definitions so scale measures okay measure instrument they are i will use all of these uh, i will i am essentially referring to how do we develop the right measure to measure of our construct right so that is what we are going to look at and in each in these scales you would have heard of all items so we are going to use this word also items okay items items are nothing but sentences slash statements that together make up a our measures okay so scale measure or instrument this is nothing but a combination of different items okay so these scales consist of 
multiple items that are going to uh, be used for our measures of concepts that we are going to measure. So remember this definition. So measurement cons concerns the systematic assignment of numbers to represent attributes of objects so as to represent quantities numerically that is called as scaling. So scaling is, a, that is what, and define whether the objects fall in the same or different categories with respect to a different given attribute. So let me just take you through what, what I am trying to say. Measurement concerns with the systematic assignment of numbers, right? So uh, when you develop when you develop these items, okay, when you develop these items, you will have scales, right? So you will have, for example, a Likert scale of one to five, right? Which is strongly disagree to strongly agree. Let's say. This is, this is an example. So this is through our measure, the measure that we have developed, what have we done? We have assigned certain numbers, right? So through measurement, we are trying to assign numbers to our construct. Up till now, remember the construct was hidden. It was intangible. But now through our skill development, measure development, we have assigned numbers to the construct. So that is the effort of scale development to represent attributes of objects. I think this is pretty simple. Attributes, each item, items here are representing attributes, right? So they are representing certain qualities qualities of the construct, right? So items are essentially talking about certain qualities, certain attributes of the construct that we have. And therefore we represent these quantities of attributes numerically, which I just mentioned. So you are now giving, assigning numbers to these attributes. And through these numbers, you can also now, through the number that you have, you can assign categories also. So you can say this is low, medium, high, right? So you can also classify whether these attributes, given that once you have numbers, you can give them different classifications, you can categorize, you can, for example, you can uh, categorize them as poor, on certain things, rich on some certain things, just based on the numbers that you are you are having. So these are different categorizations that are possible once you assign numbers to the constant. And the last thing is the ability to measure and quantify constructs allows us to test falsifiable theoretical hypotheses. Right. So what does what do I mean? which is what establishes psychology as a science, not just psychology, I would say management as a science and distinguishes it from other disciplines. So let me just, just sort of mention what do I mean by, by falsifiable hypothesis, right? So a quality of science is falsification falsification, right? What is falsification? Falsification is we, in any science, we are actually trying to test our hypothesis. This is, this is our null. So for example, null could be zero, mu is equal to zero, mu not equal to zero, right? Now falsification means we are rejecting, right? So falsification means we are rejecting our H0, which is the null hypothesis, right? So we are rejecting our null hypothesis. 
and how do you do well i will not go into that because that is a different domain of of uh, psychometrics which is hypothesis testing and and so on but this is this can be done only when you can measure measure your constructs okay so the quality of signs any quality of signs this idea was actually given by by karl popper right falsification we consider in social sciences we will consider we will continue to believe a phenomena to be true till we can falsify it right that means we will consider to believe that sun rises from the east till there can be someone who can prove it otherwise till there can be someone who can falsify if some if some of you have heard of the name galileo galileo was the one who for the first time actually there were many people but galileo brought it out very scientifically galileo described and proved that it is the earth that goes around the sun and not the sun that goes around earth so till that time people believed that sun goes around the earth but there was someone who came and falsified falsified the notion that sun goes around the earth so we consider to believe a phenomena to be true till we can falsify it and therefore remember in hypothesis again i'm just digressing a, a little bit we always say we reject h not or we say we fail to reject h not we never say that i accept h not we never say this right we never accept h not we always reject h not or fail to reject that means given my own sample given my research i have not been able to reject h not because i wanted to reject i wanted to falsify maybe if you collect data again sample again maybe in that case you may be able to reject but here i am failing to reject i but i still never accept i don't accept h not i only fail to reject h so the the all of this is only possible if we can measure the constructs that we 